under center. It's Eric Kinnaman in the backfield. They pitch to Kinnaman. He's running to his left. He's got the corner. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. Eric Kinnaman has given the Bobcats a 25-24 lead. And this place has gone nuts. They are going bonkers here in Bozeman. The Montana State left sideline has just erupted over there, Shane. These kids have been waiting a long time to get a piece of this, and right now they can feel like they've got a good shot. Montana State now with a 25 to 24 lead. Looks like the Bobcats are gonna go for two on this to try to give themselves a three point lead with 22 seconds left. Thompson, the pitch to Eric Kinnaman. He's got the hole, He's, no, he does not get in. They bring him down on the one inch line. So the extra point attempt is no good. Montana State with a 25 to 24 lead over the Montana Grizzlies. Not only are these uh, current Montana and Montana State players playing for themselves and for their prospective cities, they're also playing for, for a lot of alums and a lot of uh, past students of these establishments. So uh, there's a lot riding on this game, not only with the players that are actually playing this game, but people who are also involved outside of the football That's team. That's so true, Matt. You know, if you live in the state of Montana, you're a Bobcat or a Grizzly. There's no in-between. Quickly, let's go downstairs to Jeff Smith. Thanks so much, Shane. We got uh, our representatives from Tyrama here. John Tompkins is going to award the player of the game from University of Montana. We're happy for Brian Aya. And over here we have Robin Toner of Tyrama, who is our Montana State recipient today. Eric Kenneman. All right, they are going to the universities will be presented scholarships of two hundred and fifty dollars in the names of those players from Tyrama. Shane. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. So your players of the game, Brian Ayotte for the Montana Grizzlies, Eric Kinneman for the Montana State Bobcats. Kinneman, of course, with the three-yard touchdown run just a few minutes ago to give the Montana State Bobcats a 25-24 lead. Jeff Groeschel getting set to kick off. Nate Sanders and Brian Gales are back to receive for Montana. The kick is deep and goes out of bounds at the 20-yard line. That is a penalty. That means that Montana will get the football. They can either elect to have them kick again or they will get the football, I believe, on the 35. That's a big penalty. Uh, in because no time went off the clock. The Bobcats come into this game, the least penalized team in the big sky. Today, some big penalties that have really hurt them. Right before the half, they line up with 12 men on the field, give the Grizzlies one more play turned into a touchdown. Remains to be seen what that penalty is going to do. So there's 22 seconds left. The Montana Grizzlies trailing 25 to 24. They've got the football on their own 35-yard line. Three wide receivers to the near side of the field. Ayat in the shotgun looking to throw. Got some time. Incomplete. Intended for Josh Pappausen. 16 seconds left on the clock. If Montana can gain about 25 or 30 yards, they can get in the range of uh, Hepner. He's got a strong leg, and he's uh, kicked some big field goals this year. Probably enough time for two plays, possibly three, for the Grizzlies. He would be kicking into the wind, though, here at Reno H. Sale, H. Sale Stadium in Bozeman. 16 seconds left on the clock. Second and 10 for Montana on their own 35. Again, three receivers to the near side. Ayat in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Has the time. Over the middle. Going long to Justin Olsen. And he's got the football on the 20-yard line. Down to the 19. The Grizz call a timeout. A huge play from Ayat to Justin Olsen. Unbelievable. Half of this crowd is off struck and half of it is celebrating. The Montana Grizzlies calling timeout with eight seconds left. They have the football on the Montana State 19 yard line. Brian Ayotte, a huge throw to Justin Olson. A 45 yard pass play right there. 
unbelievable. Guys, give me your thoughts. Uh, once again, I hate to keep saying it, but you just look back to the PAT, two-point conversion, the Bobcats been snake bit with that kicking game all year long, and it's put them in another bad position here. So there's eight seconds left on the clock. Montana still has one timeout remaining. They have the football on the Montana State 19-yard line, first down and 10. I'm not quite sure what Mont well, Montana's got a lot of possibilities. They can throw a pass near the sideline, get out of bounds to stop the clock, and because they do have one timeout left, they can throw it across the middle and it'll still stop the clock. They also have the option to run it around to the outside and, and have the ability to get out of bounds to stop the clock or run it up the middle and use their timeout. So there's all kinds of possibilities here. First and 10 for the Grizz. Fumbles the snap. Ayat does. Tries to get the football back. He does, but he's brought down at about the 20-yard line. Uh, they, the Grizz call a timeout with four seconds left, so they are now out of timeouts. That means that Chris Hepner will come onto the field and attempt the game-winning field goal here in the Montana Power Fall Classic. Chris Hepner, 10 of 17 for field goals this year. It looks like this one will be from about 40 to 42 yards. He is two of five on the season from that range. Chris Hepner, a Montana native from Great Falls, growing up in Montana. I'm sure he's probably dreamed of the opportunity to have a chance to kick the winning field goal in a Grizzly Cat game. It will actually be about 38 yards for this game-winning field goal with four seconds left on the clock. Chris Hefner, two of three from 30 to 39 yards this year on the season. Of course, he kicked that long one of 54 yards back in Pocatello back in October. Now the Bobcats are calling a timeout. They want to let Chris Hefner think about this some more. That'll leave him with one more time out after this, too. I wouldn't be surprised if they were trying to really ice him down and use the other one as soon as they get ready to snap the ball again. Uh, Chris, that, go ahead. The, the sun's starting to, to go down here, too. You can tell by the shadows on the field uh, starting to cool down. This is a smart move by Montana State, you know, try and tighten up the kicker and get him to think about this a little more than maybe he'd want to. Chris Hefner collecting his thoughts out there on the field. I talked with him earlier in the year. He's never had the opportunity to kick a game-winning kick here at Montana. And when I talked with him, he said he would love the opportunity to get that chance. And, well, now he's, he's got his opportunity, that's for sure. It's not much bigger than this one. The Grizzlies trailing 25 to 24 with four seconds left on the clock. Raul Pacheco will be your holder. It will be a 37-yard attempt. And Montana State, just like you said, Mike, they call that last time out. Let Chris think about this just a little bit longer. Well, I don't know how much effect that actually has. You know, these kickers live for this situation. This is what they want. This is what they hope for. So I don't know if it'll be effective. I think that I think I'm emotionally distraught here. <laughs> It's the former Bobcat coming out in you. It's coming out a little bit. It's, it's a little hard to be impartial at this point in the game, but I think that's good. I think the whole state of Montana right now knows which side of this, this kick they're on, and they're going to wait for it to happen. They've definitely gotten their money's worth today here at Reno H. Sales Stadium, actually all over the state of Montana if you're watching with us. This has been a whale of a football game. Chris Hefner on to try the game-winning field goal. Montana State leading 25-24, four seconds left on the clock. The Grizzlies sideline holding hands, probably throwing up a little prayer into the sky, hoping for the best of luck. Here is the kick. Raul Pacheco is your holder. Chris Hefner, 20, 37 yards, the game winner. The kick is up, and it is good. The Montana Grizzlies have come back to win this football game 27 to 25 over the Montana State Bobcats. The Grizzlies are going nuts on the field. The Bobcats can't believe it. I think the Bobcats are 